What's up everybody? Today's not gonna be a super edited video, but I'm basically gonna be teaching like a basic open um, for like beginners and stuff like that. It's just like, if you gotta get your, your belly open quickly, it's just basically like your, uh, the way you can do it with relative ease and uh, still kind of look a little flashy. So um, the first thing is that none of these tricks are gonna be advanced. They're all gonna be pretty beginner. And here's what they look like. So for the the, the close, it's gonna be like this. So you have your balancing open. That's it right there. And then the open that I like to do just looks like this. Okay. So these are two that are pretty easy. Um, the prerequisites would be um, at least one rotation of the thumb chaplain you'll have to know. So the thumb chaplain is just basically, I was about to chaplain on the pie handle, just this. You just gotta do that. Um, it's pretty easy. I guess if you know the chaplain, you don't even have to know the thumb chaplain. You just have to know the chaplain because you just rotate around your thumb. Um, and so all it is is like when it's open, obviously you wanna make sure that the hilt is, or not the hilt, with I don't know what it's called, but the, the back of the blade is facing your thumb and you just let go with your hand and let this kind of like, now you're facing this way, push it back. And as soon as it's about to touch your hand, not as when it does touch because, or you can do right as it's touching or right before it touches and just let it, <laughs> yes, I would do that. But yeah, just let it kind of like rotate and hit that part of your finger. So as soon as it does rotate, and then what you want to do is grab it once it does one rotation. So just focus on that first, rotate and grab it. So go from open rotate and grab it and once you grab it you want to flick it down so it'll be here flick it down open your hand up and flick it back up so all together you rotate flick it down and back up and so that'll look like oh yeah let me go ahead and close it you know what i'm saying um for the open this one is you want to start off with it pointing this way. You can do it this way too. Like if I were to do it this way, it will, but the blade will kind of be facing me and I'll have more chance to cut myself on the trick. Um, and so I don't really want to do that as much. What you want to make sure you're doing is you're having it in the right spot and that's with the blade pointing outward this way. So what you want to do is you want to take your pointer finger and your thumb and almost put it where the Zen pin is and just let the whole thing rotate. So kind of like letting it spin as you watch kind of this happen. Look, see that? Da, 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 da. And now you're in position for, as you guessed it, the rollover, the Y2K or whatever they call it. And um, that's the prerequisite is that you have to know that. Um, so you kind of, you're like, oh, you need to use it here. Oh, <laughs> oh you need to use it? Impales self. <laughs> no, but anyways. Um, so yeah, you're here, grab the bite handle around the Zen pin, do that rotation, do a rollover. And it's okay if it hits your finger because it's going to be this, the safe side. You could even do it like this if you wanted to. But I think that's like not as good looking. You want to be a little more flashy. So rotate here. God almighty. I literally do those all day. I don't know how I'm messing them up. But then rotate here. Wrist pass and a finish off like that. And it's perfectly in position for you to grip it. Cut whatever you need to cut. And then when you're done, you just close it. So all together, somebody will be like, oh, man, that guy looks cool. I, I sure wonder if he has a knife or whatever. Hit you with that cut 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 and that so that's the basic of it um if these are like basically just some quick little things you can do it's not necessarily like advanced or anything like that but it's it's something to get the job done you know what i'm saying not everybody needs an advanced style trick to kind of use a ballast song and so if you're somebody who's not as advanced this might be good for you because now you'll have something that you can do so Quick little tutorial, quick little something for you guys, and um, rock on.